It's a regularly scheduled meeting of the Sunderland Board of Selectmen. Uh oh. Uh-huh. Sunderland Board. Select Board. There you go. It doesn't hey, matter it's to a me. Hard, it's hard to break old habits, right? Not going to offend me with that. I one. know. All right, so I'll select the board. Remind me, will that crystal kick me under the table next time? <laughs> oh, you didn't feel it this yeah, time? Give me a kick. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, how can you do it this time? You got to wear some boots next time. <laughs> so this was really originally scheduled as a quick meeting. Uh, technical difficulty seems to have prolonged our meeting, but uh, that's okay. So first up is uh, we have the uh, minutes of December 5th. I motion we approve the minutes of December 6th. 6th, that's right. Okay, we have a motion made and seconded to accept the minutes of December 6th as presented. Any further discussion? Without hearing any further discussion, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Three zero. Next up, new business, garage road sidewalks. Jeff? Yes. So we had an anonymous donor come forward and offer to... Um, Offer to pay for the cost to widen and uh, repave the sidewalk along Garage Road um, from the the intersection with the new sidewalk that Mastot's putting in um, to the curve where it joins North Silver. Yeah. Um, so the existing sidewalk there, in order to accept a gift the select board needs to vote Put to accept that. such a gift so um one, once the gift would is accepted and that's a project that we want to do then we would um move forward to procurement and we have a general estimate of what it would cost and uh so we know what the procurement method would be and we would like to try and get it done in the spring if that's something that once the weather gets better. Yes. So just let everybody know the state of Massachusetts does not make things easy. Somebody wants to donate money and we have to pull teeth to make it happen. So I, I, I'm probably going to try to talk to, and I think we'll try to talk to our state legislators to try to make it as easy as possible. But uh, um, yeah. <clears throat> so any uh, discussion? Uh, just thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, you should have said that a long time ago. That was months ago when a person tried to do this. Well, but. you know, at least now we're... <coughs> ooh. Hmm. So we, some strange things going on on the screen. There. What's that? Right now, the screen was doing weird things. But uh, oh, okay. other than the obvious thank you, um, no. Crystal? Aye. Motion? Aye. Motion. Aye, second. We have a motion made and second to accept the donation of repaving Garage Road. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Jeff, three zero. Thank you. And as Mr. David says, Thanks. a Good hearty day. thank you also yes. to that anonymous individual. Next up is uh, new steps on Riverside. Next steps on Riverside Park. Yeah, so as, as we talked about the last couple of weeks, we had to reduce the scope in order to get the project into the budget we had originally projected so we removed the restroom renovation and the recreation shed um, so wanted to talk about a tentative plan or proposal for how to actually get that work done and so we we do have another anonymous donor who is willing to cover the cost of materials for the recreation shed and we have other volunteers who are willing to construct or help with, um, if we buy a prefab shed, sort of yeah. making it aesthetically fit, um, maybe doing a little improvement so that it fits with the other buildings. So we would still need some foundation work to be done. So I was thinking about applying for a CPA grant um, probably not going to be that expensive. I think the first step is to figure out, are we custom building a shed? Are we buying a, a prefabricated shed? What kind of um, foundation would it need? Does it, could it be crushed stone? Does it have to be poured? Footings. footings right, idea. exactly. So, um, so a CPA for, for the foundation so that, that the shed can be built and then 
for the restrooms, had a discussion, and we were thinking at this time that given that the CPA has um, donated or granted uh, funds for Riverside Park in large amounts, not asking for the full amount to renovate the restrooms, but asking for a smaller amount to repair and maintain you know there's a hole in the roof on one side of the building patch that up um put a new coat of paint on it so not not any structural improvements but just something so that the building the restrooms are still usable until we figure out a more long-term plan we already have the designs for the restroom yep. so some little, that, up, little bit of upkeep and maintenance right and then for for the main project, which again is the kayak kiosk, or the main elements of it are the kayak kiosk, and then the walkway down to uh, down the boat ramp. Um, next step would be we're just waiting to finalize the get the signed contract and bonds and everything from Mirai at Mirai's, <coughs> and then um, we would hopefully hold a pre-construction meeting as soon as possible. Uh, with them and Taylor Davis, who's doing the horizontal part, and just coordinate and get timelines and get them started as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Okay, town office building capital needs. Town office building, yes. We've been talking about capital needs at other buildings, and the town office building has some too. Um, I think the front steps have been identified for a while as uh, starting to fall into disrepair. Um, and the floors, the hardwood floors probably need some refinishing in certain areas in particular. Um, some areas have never been finished. Yeah, like the back <laughs> section, yeah. yeah. Um, and then, you know, just walking around and I don't, I don't know that this would be a, a big gap, but you know the paints, and I don't I don't know about the women's restroom, the men's restroom, <laughs> paints peeling. You know maybe just a, a fresh coat of paint, um, the floors. That supposedly uh, when they did the uh, when they installed the uh, the uh, elevator, that was uh, supposedly an epoxy paint. On the floor. On the floor. Oh okay. My guess it's not. But uh, but if you do if you do paint over it, if it is epoxy, you have to have the right paint too. Yeah. And I think that hallway area isn't so bad. I think it the the where I noticed it most is in the restrooms and. It's then, in, no, that's where yeah. that's what it's supposed to be. That's, oh, that's the same. Right. Okay. So so you have to you, you have to abrade the systems, do the floor to make sure that everything sticks, especially if it is. So I would have someone come in to make sure that that it's not an epoxy okay okay and then other things that we may want to look i mean if we're just having a discussion here the i think it was the old police gym area that's yep. now storage it, it still has carpeting in it um does it make sense to leave the carpet in no. do we know what else is underneath yeah. it um it's just regular floor that that was that was always Slab. That was always the that was a cafeteria before, so that was the cement floor. Yeah, painted cement floor. Um, pull the carpet out, freshen that up. Yeah, but you know, I, I Cindy's been working here longer than I have, so I asked her too. You know, if we're just making a wish list, you know, what else would we want to? We should have we the stuff start, cataloged. Yeah, because we'll never uh, be able knocking to get to it, it off. Um, yep. But that's. You know, I guess having larger capital discussions in the capital planning committee, yep. as you know, is meeting on Wednesday. Um, but having larger discussions about capital needs in all of our buildings, and so the first thing is creating that list, and then I believe there was a long-range capital plan yes. that I found that mm -hmm. had you know each department and their needs, and sort of so reviving that long-range capital plan and updating it good. i think good yeah we should have like a you know like a master worksheet and then break up like maybe a department per tab or something along those lines <coughs> yeah yeah so <coughs> have, you, have you also had a talk with the uh 
you know, we talked to Darius last week. Have you talked to them about maintenance and capital also? Yes. Okay, good. I did. Yep. Good. Excellent. All right. All set? Yeah. Select board updates. Uh, I have a labor negotiation meeting tomorrow and capital planning on Wednesday. Excellent. So. I have nothing this week. Okay. Um, the, the, uh, there was a vaccination bus came to Sunderland Elementary School on Friday and Wednesday it was in Deerfield and Sunderland did 331 vaccinations about last Friday and there was like 378 in Deerfield on Wednesday. Now, <clears throat> from what I hear, um, the governor is discontinuing the vaccination bus. So I would tell you that if you're looking for uh, the booster or the vaccination that you would get it, the probably the easiest is try to get to uh, CVS or Big Y or Walgreens or Rite Aid, one of those places, and or check with uh, the Franklin County Regional Government <coughs> at the FERCOG.org, and they have a listing of upcoming uh, vaccination places. I know UMass is closed down until school starts up again, so their vaccination, and that's because all the nursing students are going home, so um, so there won't be vaccinations there for f until the, the students are back in, so um, I, I wouldn't, again, I, I think uh, the numbers are going back up. Um, our governor has basically said he is not right now inclined to put any uh, mask mandates into place. Um, but I did read something interesting that said uh, basically one out of a hundred elderly people have been affected by COVID. This was just yeah, in, that was <coughs> in one of the papers. I saw that too somewhere. So I, I would say if, if you're 65 and over. Um, be careful and get your vaccination and and wear your mask when you need be. I also just like to let people know that different. I think Greenfield just put their back their mask mandate back in. If you were in Amherst and Hadley, I still I think they still have their mandates in place. So it varies different communities and just just be aware carry a mask with you so that you're you're not surprised when you go to a place um that would that'd be that anything else jeffrey town administrator updates um just one uh to say thank you to all the residents who responded to the housing survey there were 177 responses and uh Hopefully later this week we'll be publishing the draft to the website um, and then we're planning on a public forum at the next select board meeting on January 3rd. Um, and so stay tuned, we're gonna try and publicize that and, and get information out. Um, but that's, I just wanted to, to thank people and, and to give them an early heads up about the uh, public forum. And then after the public forum, there'll be another week um, for public comment. <coughs> and then process-wise, the planning board has to vote to approve the, the final plan after that week. And then the select board would uh, vote to approve it. And then we would send it to the state for uh, uh, their adoption. Okay. Anything else? That that's it for me. We all we're all done with licensing. Yes. Yay! Finished licensing. You said make you do your uh, all your signatures done. I got them all done. You got any cramps in your hand yet? That's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Any comments? I told you we're going to try to make this a quick one. I don't hear anything. I'll entertain a motion. Motion. I second. 
I have a motion made and seconded to adjourn. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Three zero. Jeffrey, to clear us out at uh, six seven o oh, seven o'clock. Let's try seven o'clock. <laughs>